Hi again guys, back with another unboxing for my latest order from Champions Cubes. Uh, this one is one of the uh, bigger purchases in this box. This is a Diane Bermuda Cube. Um, I've got two two of these so far. I've got the Mercury and the Venus versions. The Mercury one wasn't too difficult. The Venus one was much more challenging. This is the Earth version. So what we've got here is two triangles on adjacent faces. Um, I suspect this one's going to be rather difficult. And right now that ah, because all that's what I said. I was going to say that didn't want to turn, but obviously I've got to line those up. I don't know what's going on there. There's a big gap between the pieces, and it feels very loose. Yeah, it feels like it might fall apart, actually. I don't know what's going on there. You don't, this is not normally what you expect from a Diane puzzle. Um, yeah, you can see this corner piece is sticking right out. I don't know if there's a, some flashing in there or something that needs to be removed or something like that. I don't know, but... Wow, this is, I can see straight away that this is going to be horribly difficult because to turn the green face, I've got to, to turn the red face, I've got to turn the green face first. To turn the green face, I've got to turn the orange face first. So just to make a move on the red face, I've got to turn two of the faces first. So what? That's definitely going to have to come apart and check the flashing and stuff in there because there's definitely something going on there. There's something very wrong with that. Is trying to pop the pieces out constantly. It's, it's lined. It's all lined up, but it, turning it is. You can look at. There's just there's a great big gap between the pieces. I don't know what is going on there, but I'm going to have to dismantle that and take a look. I'll be back to you. I'm going to have to do that, and I'll get back to you when I've done so. Okay, so I've got the puzzle in pieces now, as you can see, and it's very clear what the problem is. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this on this camera. Let's get this bit of light right up to it. And zoomed right up. Um, there's a great big piece of flashing sticking out, and it's on every one of these little kind of wedge corner edgy pieces. I don't want to call them on this puzzle because you've got like five of these on their face on some faces. But yeah, basically there's a great big lump of plastic sticking out of the side of every one of them. So that's what's causing the issues. So it's obviously not going to be a difficult thing to fix, but it's a bit annoying that they, they sh that should be removed at the factory. So, but, but yeah, basically all I've got to do is grab my trusty old knife here and cut off that excess plastic from the edge there and that should do the trick just because do that on every piece and knees it up a little bit and that put it back together and hopefully that will sort everything out okay so the Bermuda Cube Earth is now sold again um, this one's a bit tricky. Um, I enjoyed solving this one, but this one took me a while. Um, it involves lots of setup moves to be able to get things to turn. So, you, yeah, for, for example, if I wanted to do things on the orange face, moving things around, I've got to um, have the orange face turned like this anyway, because it's kind of a Fisher style face. So you've got to have it lined up with the cuts on the other faces, obviously. But um, if you'd normally often, obviously, use the F and the R faces in your algorithm so you'd have to make the F face turnable which means you could have the green face like that perhaps um, but it, that doesn't work because the red face is blocked then so you have to do it something like that to get the R face or um, turnable and, and lots of combinations like that really it's um, you find you spend a lot of time looking around for how to make a face turnable and you have to keep sort of like doing and undoing the setup moves but that actually makes it quite fun um, I was getting to the stage where I had the whole of this the lower two layers here solved um, a number of times um, but I messed up trying to solve the final layers and had to redo everything um, quite a few times um, eventually I got to a stage where it was all solved except for three what look like edges that are, but are actually corners on this orange face and just couldn't figure out how to rotate the corners at all so I must admit I had to, I had to have a look 
for a hint from somewhere else to finish those but all I needed was a tiny little hint of a setup move to do and then everything kind of fell into place um, and I don't mind doing that obviously it's, it's better if you can figure out how to sew it by yourself but if I completely stumped on something like that I'll, I'll look up a small hint but that's all I looked up um, just a, a bit of a setup move that I needed and it, and it kind of um, as soon as I saw it was oh yeah of course you know um, and then once I've done that everything fell into place quite easily for the f for finishing off the solve. So yeah, challenging puzzle. Um, not vastly more difficult than the other two I've got in the series, the um, the Mercury and the Venus. I think if I do get any more of these puzzles then there'll be quite a significant step up in difficulty, so they might be a lot more challenging. Um, so I don't know whether I'll want to do that or not, because basically all the rest in the series have got three triangles or not two and obviously that just causes more and more bandaging so whether you can solve them in any way the same as a regular 3x3 three three, or whether you've got to figure out new move sequences and things like highly bandaged puddles I don't know and I must admit I do struggle with those so I might have to have a look around and see what other people's opinions are of those before I decide to take the plunge but I would like them because I like this series as a whole I think it's a very novel idea and I definitely would like the whole set from a collector's point of view but whether I'd actually be capable of solving the others I'm not so sure but we'll see, we'll see. Um, turning wise it is, as you saw in my earlier in this video it, I did have some problems when I first unboxed it with some excess, excess flashing now it's broken in a little more with, during the solving process but it has still got a couple of issues it's not terrible or anything now but it does um, occasionally you feel a little catch like Possibly some flashing still left over that I didn't remove, I don't know. Um, but it, it's certainly no danger of popping or anything like that anymore that I had when I first opened it. You can get something catching right there. I don't know if it's just a slight misalignment, but anyway. So it's not absolutely awful or anything, but it's, it's still, for some reason this one turns a little bit less well than the others I've got in this series. So I don't really know why that is. Maybe it's just luck or bad luck, but or maybe it's just um, something to do with this configuration of pieces, I don't know. But anyway, um, I think that's it for this video guys, uh, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.